but people in this video have potty mouths due to their limited vocabulary. If you are easily offended by words that rhyme with duck, pit, or punt, you have... <laughs> Hey guys, this is Andrew Bet, and this is Big Words Andrew Bet. Today I'm talking to the guys from Tata and say hello, guys. Hello. Hey. <laughs> what are your names? <laughs> I think people want to know those. Uh, uh, Tom. Adam. And they are the bassist and guitarist of. Tauntauns, a very cool local Houston band who's uh, hitting it big right now. They just did a show at Fitzgerald's to kick off their most recent tour. How do you guys feel about a show last Friday? Uh, it was really fun. It's a lot of really good turnout and uh, it's a lot of people. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it was like packed in there. I don't know. I was in the audience and uh, my girlfriend and I were just like, man, this place is just like insanely packed right now. And uh, you guys had some great opening bands too that night. It was just a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, what do you guys feel about your performances? Um, what is it you go for when you do those? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, personally, uh, <laughs> I just go for sexy um, and bringing the grooves, I guess. That's uh, funny because um, that is actually <laughs> one of my questions. Because um, I read a Houston Chronicle article that you guys did where um, one of you joked that when you first started you, you wanted to make sexy music. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys what you think the secret to sexy music is because I think you guys totally pull it off. I mean, <laughs> sexy music. Yeah, there's a lot of different tempos in your music, but they're all sexy somehow. Uh, well, um, I think uh, yeah, it's I mostly just me and Tom that <laughs> 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 uh, bring out the sexiness. So, who are some of your inspirations right now? I mean, you guys have been in bands before. What are your previous sounds like with other bands as compared to this one? Hmm. What did we sound like before? I don't know, we sounded like... Uh, I don't know, we, we listened to a lot of stuff from like the 60s and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Cool, any bands in particular? Um, I like this band called Los Novos Baianos. Okay. Like Brazilian stuff. Sweet. How about you, Tom? Um, like what do you mean? As far as like what we used to listen to or what we... What do you listen to, to now or um, favorites? Favorite. Something you listen to to get you into a, a good headspace, I guess. This um, uh, I really like Can. Mm -hmm. It's a crowd rock band, sixties. Uh, now, I mean, we listen to all kinds of things. It's not really just one particular genre. Yeah. So, what's the writing process like for Tauntauns? I hear it's collaborative. Um, can you talk about that a little bit? Uh, it's uh, it's pretty hard. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah. I don't know. Just come up with parts and. I'll try to get together and work on it together. How long does it normally take you guys to get a good song out? Yeah, that's a tough one. It could be like a day or it could take a couple months. It, it really varies on whatever song we're doing. Like, I don't know. You told us to write a song right now, I don't know. We could be a really shitty one. <laughs> <laughs> It'd probably be really shitty. So going from uh, your first album up till now, how do you guys think um, things have changed in terms of either the type of music um, you're producing or in terms of uh, I guess how you feel about the music that you're producing do you like it more or is it just something different or do you try to do something different every time w what's that like it's probably it's probably a more natural progression mm -hmm. it just changes every time we get started listening to different music different influences and it just kind of changes um, I think we've been getting better but I don't think we we don't go out specifically saying like we let's write this type of song. Yeah, it just kind of becomes natural. You guys seem to play a lot of venues around Houston. Um, any favorites or um, what? What is it that um, calls you to do all these different sh play all these different shows at different places? I guess. Hmm. Um, that's where we get booked. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's mean, true. Like, uh, I like playing. I like playing Fitz. Fitz is cool. Yeah, I think Fitz is our probably our favorite right now. I think it has the the best sound, and the room just feels uh, pretty cool. Are you guys all originally from Houston? Yeah. Cool. Um, what do you think of the city? I like it. It's cool. I don't know. Got a train and <laughs> some museums and stuff. <laughs> Is it a good place to have as a home base for a band like yours? Uh, I don't know. I think it's. I think 
it's working for us, I guess. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. I mean, we've never lived anywhere else, so yeah. I'm gonna say yes. Cool. <laughs> you guys have any pre-show rituals at all? Uh, no, we've, not really. We've noticed other bands that do. I think, we, I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. We try to make up one, but it's like it's this is dumb. I don't know what. <laughs> Takes too much time. <laughs> I don't know what the point yeah. is. Like, I don't know. Other bands do it, but. Uh, uh, we never felt the need to do anything. Like, <laughs> maybe, maybe they're just like trying to psych themselves into playing well, and it just because you guys have been playing so long, it just comes naturally for you, I guess, at this point. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Like a muscle, the performance muscle. Uh, we might try it on tour. Yeah, we should try to come up with one. I think that's what we should do. <laughs> this tour. So what are maybe, some? Maybe we're missing out. I think we should start doing push-ups before every show or something. Just all push-ups. See if you can do the most push-ups. <laughs> yeah, just like get your arms really tired and then like just. Get tired after like five songs. <laughs> yeah, I can't even play. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So, what are some other Houston bands you guys are into? Um, well, we're friends with a lot of the locals here. It's a, um, like Buxton, Wall Moccasins, and uh, also I like right now. Robert, Robert Ellis. Yeah, I like Robert Ellis. I like Kelly Doyle. Kelly Doyle's Kelly bad. Doyle's really cool. He's a good guitar player, man. Young Mammals and Giant Princess. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, um, right now we're going to move on to some serious questions. Um, the first one is, uh, feel free to answer either one of you. Um, who do you rather get drunk with, Superman or Batman? <laughs> oh, shit. I guess, I don't know, Batman's rich, right? Is Superman rich, too? Nah, he's a reporter. They don't make money. Uh -oh. Yeah, I don't know. Superman can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a hard question. Yeah. Shit. Mm. I'm gonna go... I don't know, I guess Superman. But Batman can take his... I don't know, he can, he can back you up in a fight, too. Shit, <laughs> like I know, I don't know what you want. <laughs> it's about getting drunk. Keep uh -oh. that in mind. Yeah, but I mean, if I get drunk, I'm gonna get in a fight, so... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who I'd want behind me. <laughs> I guess... I don't know, Batman's got money. I go with Batman. Yeah. I can hang out at his mansion and go to his cave and stuff. How about you, Tom? Take out the Batmobile. I guess Batman. Yeah. Cool. Um, Borrow that belt. <laughs> so since you guys are Houstonians, I'm guessing you guys know where to get good food. Um, what would be the best place to get some pizza in Houston? Pizza? Pizza? I, like, I don't know. I like Bambolinos just because, like, when I, I remember when I was, like, really little, I used to go there. I see a lot of weird people at Bambolinos but I never I'll, go there. I'm there sometimes. That might have been you then. <laughs> but I also go to, uh, man, today I ate at Frank's. I ate at Frank's, they have like really big slices of pizza. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty good. So what's the worst part about touring? Uh, Not knowing where you're going to stay the night. It's probably the worst. How do you guys normally put it off? What, what happens? Hey, can you let us stay at your place? <laughs> Please. Or you kind of like... You always hope someone comes up to you and says, "Hey, man, you guys have a place to stay tonight." And if if no one does, then it gets really awkward, and you're like, "Okay, let's find someone who who kind of liked our set and might let us stay at their place," or we ask like the other bands that are playing. Oh, okay. But when you don't have any place to stay, that's the hard part. Where you're just like, "Man, where am I gonna stay tonight?" So when when you ask, like when you try to find someone to ask, like. What are some qualities you look for when you're spotting them? It's like, oh, that guy. That guy looks like, looks like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a suit to this concert. Super Damn. Does Superman have a house? He's, He's an apartment. He's in an apartment, right? No, yeah. Superman, yeah, I wouldn't want to hang out with Superman. <laughs> <laughs> He's got, He's got, He's got uh, a girlfriend, too. No. I wouldn't want to hang out with him. It's boring. <laughs> no, he's got, uh, he's got the, the cave. The oh, cave. yeah, yeah. The nice. cave of Solace. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's all the way in like, the all him, Arctic or something. <laughs> the North Pole or something. Yeah. So where can people find your tour schedule? Uh, on our website, the, the tontons.com. And there, there's links to all our music. Like, we have it available on like, Man Camp, Amazon, and iTunes. And you guys are going to be appearing at a Side by Side West this year too, right? Yeah, right. Like after, after we finish our tour, we're going to head over to South By. We play 35 Denton, mm -hmm. and then South By. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's been great having you. This has been Big, big Words Andre Andrew Bet. My name is Andrew Bet. You can find us on Facebook.com slash and yeah, YouTube.com slash 3094Tube. We'll see you next time.